Hello Internet, I'm Guy. Have you ever put a parallel in your vise and you drop it in there and you're working along and it falls over, just tips over inside the vise? Well, there's a product that I found on the internet that you can get, which is a little tiny magnetic holder that holds the parallel against the wall of the vise or against the jaw of the vise. Um, I decided not to buy one, I decided to make one. So here's how I did it. So my go-to tool for cutting big chunks of aluminum is the table saw. Here I'm using a sled on the saw for more control and safety. And I'm wearing a face shield because those chips are flying right up in my face. So now I'm milling a slot in the basic chunk of aluminum here. I'm using my brand new half inch carbide cutter which is cutting like a dream. I had uh, worn out my uh, high speed steel cutter a while ago trying to cut some stainless steel and so that was thrown away. It was garbage by the time I was done with it. You may want to see that video and I'll link to it below. Um, but this goes so quickly and the chips are just fantastic. What a nice cutter. So then I'm deciding to just clean up all the edges. I kind of hit it with a sander but I wanted them to look a little more finished and machined. So I'm just kind of cleaning up all the edges. And again, this cutter is just so darn nice. I'm really enjoying using it. So now I'm just cleaning up the other sides to make it all look uh, like I deliberately machined it rather than just cut it out of the stock material. Uh, it goes pretty quickly. Squirting some WD-40 on in places there, but it doesn't really need it. This carbide cutter is just, wow, really fun to use. So now I've decided to use a uh, 3 8 inch end mill to make the hole for the magnet. If you look carefully, you can see the head of my mill is jumping around a little bit. This is not the optimal way to do it, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. Um, the hole for the magnet needs to be a little over, like two drill sizes over 3 8 of an inch. So I'm starting with the milling cutter, and then I'm dropping in that larger drill bit, and that will then follow into the hole that I already drilled. Um, this feels better to me, and this hole is just slightly bigger than the magnet, so I can uh, secure it in with glue, and that's fine. I'm watching my DRO to make sure I get my depths just right, and there we are. The magnet drops in just a little bit shallow, which is fine. So then, uh, after having that milling cutter jumping around, I thought I'd go directly in with the drill bit, and that seems to be working better. I couldn't really center drill this, um, so I thought I'd just go very gently in, and it's working out just fine. I just have to really creep in very carefully with that big drill bit. It's being held in an R8 collet, um, which is giving it better security, I think, than a chuck. Uh, so as you can see, it's just tearing right through there. And I'm going to a depth of 0.22 inches, roughly. The magnets are around 0.2 inches, so I wanted it to inset just a little bit so that it's below the surface. Now, here comes the challenging part. I have to get this magnet in there and glue it in. Um, so I'm going to use Bob Smith thickened cement. This is the gap filling medium cement. And put a little bit in there. In fact, quite a bit in there. A little extra won't hurt. I'm going to pick it up with the drill bit here. Get a little bit of glue on there and just drop it in there. Now I can hold it in with a pencil get the drill bit off and it is going to set in there if I shoot it with some accelerator. There we go. Hopefully that's set. Let's do another one while that's setting. So I've got another magnet right here. I'm going to pick it up with this. Put some glue in there. Seems like this glue isn't going in. There we go. Okay see how that works. Nope, doesn't feel like it's doing it. I'm going to put some on the outside there. There we go. Now I can see it. All right, going in, holding it in. I can see glue all the way around there now and insta-set. 
This is the insta set that you use to quick uh, dry or quick set the cyanoacrylate glue. So let's see if this one is nice and set now. Yes, it is. So the acid test is to put it onto a piece of metal. Let's see, I'll use my caliper and boom. So a quick final cleanup with some sandpaper to get that glue off. Yeah, that looks great. That looks good. Let's try it over on the mill. All right, so now I've got a couple of three quarter inch parallels. I'm gonna put one here, one here, and then this with the magnet is gonna sit right there. I pull it forward, pull it back a little bit, and it's grabbing beautifully. Same thing, this one will go over here. I can actually grab it on there and then push it back. So this magnet will hold it quite securely. You know, it's got a little bit of wiggle room, but I am liking that. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you or useful and you haven't subscribed already, please do, or just give me a thumbs up like. Thanks a lot. See you soon.